Hello everyone, Arcandy here. I've already come up with the fastest Greninja kill possible, the Scarlet Supremacy Squad, and I want to show you another cool strategy I came up with. What if you only want to play in a group of two people instead of a group of four? The Scarlet Squad won't do, but here's one that works. In just about two minutes you're guaranteed to one-shot Greninja, just like that. Let's go over the necessary Pokemon and the strategy. First, the damage dealer, Espeon. We're going to build Espeon so that it can both survive one critical hit and then one-shot Greninja after the setup. The main moves you'll need are Protect, Calm Mind, Stored Power. Psychic is not part of the setup, but is there as a failsafe. Leave Protect at the top of your moves list. Magic Bounce, Hidden Ability, which reflects the toxic spikes from turn 0 back to Greninja. This effect is only useful if the setup somehow fails and allows Espion to respawn without being poisoned, although that should not happen. We're expecting to activate the weakness policy on top of one Calm Mind for a large boost to stored power. You'll need to hyper train all stats except attack and run this exact EV spread. 144 special attack EVs will be just enough to always one shot Greninja and the remaining EVs will allow you to survive a Night Slash critical hit. Check your final stats to make sure Espeon is correctly trained. Next up, the support. Toxapex, the Invincible. Really, this Pokemon is so tanky against this raid boss. The main moves are Acid Spray, Haze and Hex. Recover is used only as a failsafe. I recommend putting Acid Spray at the top of your move list for ease of use. Note that Greninja is not guaranteed to activate the weakness policy on Espeon. We'll use Hex on Espeon only if necessary to force it. Don't worry, Espeon is built to survive that. I'll go a bit more in depth on that later. Impish Nature lowers Hex damage and gives additional bulk. Win-win. The only held item possible has to be Bright Powder. Bright Powder gives you a higher chance to evade moves. Evading moves gives you survivability but also means skipping an entire move animation and saving time. In my opinion, leftovers would provide more utility but unfortunately wastes crucial time every turn. Hyper train HP, defense and special defense and run this exact EV spread. This spread along with impish nature makes night slash and hydro pump deal roughly the same damage and lets Toxapex survive up to 4 critical hits in a row. Although, you'd have to be extremely unlucky for that to happen. Make sure to double check your final stats. Now that your Pokemon are ready to go, let's go over the battle plan. The first goal is to put Greninja at minus 6 special defense before the stats reset. Toxapex goes to work, starting with Haze and then 3 Acid Sprays. You'll need to be quick selecting these moves. Espeon has to wait until then. The game has an anti-AFK system that forces you to use a move after a certain time. The move at the top, which in our case is Protect. We don't actually want the game to do that, so we'll manually select Protect to avoid losing time. A good reference is to use Protect when you see Toxapex using the first Acid Spray. The second goal is to set up Espeon as soon as possible after Greninja resets your stats. Espion uses Calm Mind and gets hit by Night Slash, triggering the weakness policy. Toxapex then finishes its part of the setup with an attack cheer. As soon as you see in the text box that Espion used Calm Mind, do the cheer. Finally, Espion will KO the Greninja with stored power. This is plan A and what we hope will happen in most of the raids. There's some RNG involved in this strategy though. Greninja is not guaranteed to use Night Slash on Espeon due to the two NPCs you get playing as a duo. If your NPC buddies have Intimidate or use Charm or Feather Dance, Greninja could choose Hydro Pump instead of Night Slash. Or they could paralyze or freeze Greninja and it may not move at all. And thus, the weakness policy would not activate. DIY, do it yourself, is the answer to this RNG problem. If Greninja won't activate the weakness policy, Toxapex will force it to activate with Hex. The only times that happens will be if Greninja was unable to attack or used Hydro Pump instead of Night Slash. This Espeon build is guaranteed to survive the worst case scenario where both Hydro Pump and Hex are critical hits. 
and thus we have plan B. In short, if Greninja didn't activate the weakness policy, then Toxapex has to force it to activate. I have two important tips for you. One big tip is that the Espeon should always host the raid, because NPCs only act when the host does, and Espeon only moves once before Calmine. The more opportunities the AI has to act, the more likely they are to get in your way, not to mention they waste valuable time with their animations. The other tip is that you don't have to wait to see the attack to your animation when selecting Sword Power. That would be a waste of time. As long as your buddy has already used the attack cheer, you can select stored power immediately. The cheer animation will forcefully play out before stored power actually goes off. Trust. Naturally, this applies when the weakness policy activates successfully. The last thing I want to mention is what happens if you're too late and Greninja sets up the shield. Really, this should not happen except due to a freak accident like when the interface freezes and you can't select a move. A lot of factors can change how the raid plays out at this point. You may have to improvise a little bit with your buddy Toxapex, but it is still very much possible to finish the raid. Stored power with the full setup still takes a chunk off the shield, but after that things will play out differently. Do not use Calm Mind nor Stored Power anymore once Espen faints. Use Psychic only and make sure Greninja is at minus 6 special defense. You'll have to work with your buddy Toxapex to redo the initial setup as necessary when Greninja uses double team. Recover as needed, protect the stall turns if necessary, or let the game auto select for you. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll come up with many more incredible strategies for upcoming 7 star raids, and you'll see it first on this channel. Thanks for watching, good luck with your raids, and I'll see you on the next one.